Hey guys, welcome to your general reading for Pisces. This is going to be for your August 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements. We're going to take a look and see how your spiritual journey is going, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on here. So apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Pisces people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when i go live uh also if you guys are interested in following me on tiktok and also on instagram the links for those are in the description box below all right so pisces tell me about pisces how is pisces a spiritual journey going how is pisces a spiritual journey going for august 2023 for Pisces. Pisces. Let's see. Tell me about Pisces here. Tell me about Pisces. We got the Knight of Wands here and Judgment here. Sagittarius energy. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. Seems like you're being called here, Pisces. Seems like you're being called and I feel like you guys are answering the call. Some of you guys could be going through a huge spiritual awakening or some sort of realization of like, man, this is where I need to be or this is where I'm exactly where I need to be. Or that, you know, I feel like you're about to make a huge change, a life decision here where you're not going back on something here, okay? Uh, we have the Fool, Aries Energy, uh, the Page of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. Seems like you're moving towards a new path here. There's a, an exciting new beginning here that's happening here for you. And I feel like you're really excited because I feel like you're finding closure in the situation or that you're finding or that you're closing the door on something here or on someone and you're moving towards a new beginning here. You know, some of you guys could be going back to school or that some of you guys are learning something here or that you got, you guys are learning to just enjoy the process here. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have. We have a strength card here in the Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like there's an energy of you guys putting yourself first. You know, I feel like a lot of you guys are learning to be patient with the process that you're going through here, whatever that might look like to you. Okay, Leo energy with the strength card. Tell me about Knight of Wands here. The Devil, Capricorn energy, judgment here in the Ten of Swords. Yeah, any sort of attachments to the past where there has been codependency, addiction issues here, any sort of pain, any sort of hurt here. I feel like you're finding closure regarding what has happened to you in the past and I feel like you're moving on or that you're moving towards your healing here, okay? Some of you guys could have dealt with some sort of addic addiction here or someone in or around your life could have been dealing with that here, okay? Um, the Fool. We have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the uh, Page of Wands here, and the Seven of Swords. One of the big changes that you are stepping into is that you're no longer self-sabotaging yourself or that you're no longer a victim of your past. I feel like you're reclaiming your power here and I feel like there's an energy of you moving forward here, okay? Because there's a sense of you living in the past here. Or that you're stuck on the past or that you're stuck on all these bad things that bad things that have happened to you so i feel like you're taking full control of your life here okay pisces we have the strength card eight of pentacles the five of swords and the king of swords here libra aquarius gemini here look at that so i feel like you're working on yourselves you're working your self-confidence here uh, uh uh pisces and like i said i feel like you're putting yourself first i feel like you're not playing any more games with yourself you're not going back and forth you're not second guessing yourself you're clear about what you want you're clear about uh the change that you want to make here for yourself okay 
So, um, King, of, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, what else do we have here? What else does Pisces need to know, look out for, work on here for August 2023 regarding their spiritual journey here? All right. The Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, the Sun of Wands here. One of the things I feel like you're also learning is that you're no, no longer resisting change. You're realizing that change is inevitable. You're realizing that change is a part of your spiritual growth and your personal growth and your healing here. So change has to happen in order for that to happen, right? The Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. Four of Wands here and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Page of Swords and the High Priestess. You guys are learning to trust yourselves more here too. Just because you messed up here in the past, you know, doesn't mean that you shouldn't trust yourself. You know, I just feel like, you know, that was part of the process here. And I feel like some of your setbacks here has led you not to trust yourself anymore. And I feel like you're learning to trust yourself again. I feel like you guys are, are wising up here. I feel like you guys are looking back at the inner child, seeing how far you have come here. Because I feel like a lot of this stuff that you've been through has a lot to do with that wounded inner child here. All right, the tower. We have the three of wands, the sun of wands here, and the two of swords. Some of you guys don't handle change really well. And I feel like you guys are learning to to learning to do that or like learning to accept change gracefully here. Because sometimes, you know, in life, yeah, things are meant to happen. They're meant to happen for a reason here. All right, the four of wands. But this is leading to like stability and happiness here. The four of wands, six of swords, the hierophant here, and the knight of pentacles. Some of you guys are being called to move some of you guys could be physically moving to a new home here okay uh some of you guys could be you know taking on a new job where it needs or requires you to move to that place and i feel like that's gonna happen for you guys and i feel like like that's the right thing to do and i feel like you guys know that that's the right thing to do here too uh pisces okay six of swords here and the knight of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo the page of swords and the magician gemini virgo the high priestess and the king of wands here aries leo sagittarius energy yeah i just feel like you've come a long way i feel like you've taken control of the steering wheel here and i feel like you're creating the life that you want yeah and i feel like you're looking back at your experiences knowing that these were these were big lessons that led you here okay so pisces i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell and i will speak to you guys in the next one all right thanks guys bye